Hello everyone, this is Jeff with Zucker Marketing. Thank you so much for making time to talk with me earlier today and as promised, here's your website analysis. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get more customers online. I'm also going to run through a couple of things that you can implement right now. And in addition to reviewing your website, we're also going to look at one of your top competitors' website and show you how they're currently beating you online and what you can actually do differently to counteract that. So first, we'll start off with your website. To tell you honestly, I'm not sure if it's just me or maybe there's just something wrong with the website, but still you have your logo at the top, you have here your company's information, you also have good photos and good amount of contents as well. Um, so there's actually just a few things when we're gonna get over with for us to make sure we get you on top of the search list. Well, one thing I can tell you right off the bat is that Google loves content Google actually would like to see a minimum of 1,500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the more you look like an expert in Google's eyes. So of course, if you want to beat out the competition, you'd want to have 1,500 words or more. So let's go ahead and do a quick count just for us to see how many words you have on your homepage. All right, so currently you have 904 words, which is actually a good number. However, we're still quite behind with the goal of 1500 for us to actually be considered by Google as a trustworthy website. Another thing I'd like to talk about are keywords. Google is also looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. So if you have the exact words listed multiple times on your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google is going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So we actually did a quick search of the roofing companies in one of the areas you're servicing. We'll talk more about the results that we have here. So let's go ahead and start off with the first one. So this is what we call the map pack. And of course, this is something where you really would like to be on since these are the ones that gets a lot of attention, a lot of traffic, and are easier to find. I'm actually seeing that you're ranking second on the map pack searches. One way for you to consistently be here or even be at the top of the map pack list is you'll need to add all of your company's information in as many directories as possible, like on Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie.com, and so on and so forth. Moving on to the next part, these are what we call the organic searches. So these are all the websites that actually ranks higher without people paying for any ads just because they're doing some certain things. And that's exactly where we're going to talk about and analyze. So I actually pulled up one of the top ranking website. Let's see what they have differently. We're looking at their website. They also have their logo at the top. They have their phone number. They also have good photos and good amount of contents as well. So let's go ahead and dig deeper with the numbers instead. So we have here Ahrefs, one of the pay tools. So we're using for us to have some more information on the back end of your website. So we'll be talking more about the numbers. So let's start off with DR. So this is the level of trust that Google has in your website and UR is the strength of your website. Backlinks on the other hand, these are other websites that refers to your website. So they're like shout outs from different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, or alike. I also have your competitors numbers pulled up here and we'll be comparing the numbers and we'll actually see what they have differently. Starting off with DR and UR, well, it actually shows that they have a more trustworthy website. However, you do have a stronger website. They also have more backlinks and more keywords, which gave them more traffic. One important thing that you need to discuss about backlinks and referring domains, though, is that this should actually be a two to one ratio. So this 63 referring domains that they have, these are what we call the good or strong backlinks. And the rest of the missing backlinks, these are what we consider the spammy backlinks. And what you can actually do differently on your end is you just need to increase the number of your backlinks and keywords. And while you're doing that or increasing the number of your backlinks, you just need to make sure that you actually have a much better ratio between your backlinks and referring domains. And as a result, that will be more traffic. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk more about the referring domains and keywords that they have. And let's also discuss the importance of this too, especially in making your website stronger and better. So starting off with the referring domains. So these are all the directories they're currently listed on that actually brings them a lot of attention and a lot of traffic. That's why they're also ranking higher in the searches. Next are the organic keywords. So these are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for these specific words, 
their website will show on top of the list. And if you also look at the numbers under volume, these are the total number of people that's actually searching for the specific keywords on Google every month. So that's how important in choosing the right keyword is. That way, more people will be able to find your website quicker and easier. Another thing we'd like to share about keywords is what we call the hidden keyword. So if we save a photo and, you know, instead of naming it with a generic file name, you can actually rename it with a hidden keyword instead. And of course, you can do the same thing with the other photos you have on your website. That way, you'll be able to have more hidden keywords added into it. And not only that, of course, for those keywords to not to be repetitive on your website as well. So just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can do to improve your ranking is first, the amount of content when we're going to add more words into your homepage. That way, Google will actually consider your website a much more trustworthy website. Next are the backlinks, where we're going to add your information to more directories as possible. That way, we can actually bring you more traffic and, of course, the higher chances of your website in appearing at the top of the map pack list. And last but not the least would be the keywords, where we're going to help you out in adding more keywords and, of course, choosing the right ones. That way, more customers will be able to find your website faster and easier. So these are all the things that you can actually implement right now. And of course, we can also help you out in making these changes and more with the goal of getting you many new customers. I'll also follow up with the feedback um, that you have on this video about the ideas I shared on this video. So we really do appreciate your time. You all have a wonderful day. Bye.